lecture we took a look at the uh, an overview of the DRBFM worksheet and how does it work and uh, in a blank state and today we will start with a mechanical DRBFM example where we will take a certain product and put it in an actual Excel sheet that is used to build the DRBFM worksheet. The focal product that we're going to use in building this mechanical DRBFM worksheet is a smartwatch. Uh, we're assuming that this watch is having an, uh, a hardware update to it. And we're going to address how does this change will affect the the new model of that watch and uh, trying to implement that in the DRBFM worksheet and identify all potential or future concerns with that product. To be more specified, so we have a smartwatch. So we have the relatively old watch in here. We are having explored view. We are comparing that with the new watch that is having an advanced feature or a change point. In this case, we're assuming that the company is trying to do in three years, uh, giving this watch a feature of projecting the screen on hand, like while using it uh, on your hand, you're able to do projection uh, through some uh, hardware implementation in here to be able uh, to project that on your hand and being able to uh, deal with the inputs or the outputs that are shown up on your hand. With that being said, let's go to our Excel format DRBFM worksheet. So this is the worksheet. You're having tabs here, you, so you have visualize tab, you have hierarchy diagram and the change list or a change comparison list as you know. We have the functions list, we have the change matrix or the potential concerns, and we have the design review members list and S rank, A rank DRBFM, we have as well the B rank DRBFM if needed, we have the five wise chart and we have the reference tab. So if we go back, we start with visualize. So you create a tab, you call it visualize. Now in your visualize, as you know, we have our baseline design uh, like working area and we have the new design working area. So in this case, I already uh, for the favor of time created, posted those pictures for the product. Again, the, the visualization for the favor of time will be uh, as simple as possible from a generic uh, product pictures from the uh, repository of online websites. So first you have the part name. The part name in companies could be very complicated. It could be like in vehicles, let's say taking a Ford, you can having a Ford pickup F-150, you have Ford F-250, Ford F-350. Uh, that's an example for, for that topic. So naming could vary, but in this case, we will say um, the part that we're trying uh, to work on is a smartwatch. And the new part, we call it projected smartwatch. So that's the name of the product that we're going to use. Again, you can play with the fonts, designs, colors. You can go creative as much as you can and as much time as you have. So baseline design, you can call out your products as needed. So this is the old design that we had. So here, if you want to say, um, you can call this A, that's the crown. And of course, you need to do adjustment so that it will be visually appealing and readable for whoever is coming uh, to review your sheet. Let's create a copy here and give this a name. So we have B. So that's the main part. Uh, let's call it. So B in here can be called uh, touch screen. Again, those are not meeting the real names for the product. I'm just coming up with names here for the sake of uh, documentation. As we said, the baseline design, it's not very important to call out products. The important you can show that this part was looking this way, like without projection in this case, and the new design is having projection in it, and the projection part is here, and we're focusing on this and so on. Then you have the... Um, let's say here, let's call it enclosure or steel enclosure. 
again those names usually when you are working actually in a company it's easy to come up with those names because there's already somebody who put out those names uh, for the parts and i'm sure there's a lot of explored views mentioning each part and what does it do and so on so d here we can say uh, biometric sensors and so on you know okay for the new design that's where things getting interesting so in the new design you can use the same thing so the crown still there so in this case you can use that call out of crown let's put it here so we have a crown here and uh, let's use this thing you can go as i said as creative as possible so you put this dot and probably you will insert a line and trying to mark it out to go this way based on the spaces that you have and uh, bear with me here let's do some an um, adjustment to this let's give it more weight give it a black color okay is it centered yeah acceptable so we call this a crown still then we can use a different callout for the projection for the projection part right so in this way let's call this okay, give it a line okay not the best but we can perfect it as much as possible let's be centered you want to spend hours or maybe days on doing that visualization take your time collect parts from you, from your team members i'm sure most of those drawings will be available based on your product and based on the structure of your company so here in this case you see here we call it in the baseline design b touch screen here we can we can use letters and abbreviations or even symbols as we need because um, you know what when we compare you could be confused between a and a1 so in this case we have b1 a1 b1 instead of a and b so you can compare between baseline and new design in your change comparison list in a less confusing way so here we can call it uh, projection assembly so that's the part really changing if there's anything inside being changed you want to call it out as well as you can imagine the electrical circuit will change based on the new design to implement um, for the projection assembly so in this case maybe we need to use a different color but I'm not gonna use that for now um, so we can call this C1 PCB, so printed circuit board that's handling the whole assembly. Again, we're trying to be generalized right now, but in real life, you want to be as detailed as possible because you have many circuit boards in here. So you want to call out which PCB you're talking about, or maybe you're calling it the processing circuit, or you're calling it sensory circuit and all those details. But we focus on the... Uh, main components here just to give a demonstration of the concept let's go here this is the projection assembly again that's not realistic but by the way the technology of projection is um, being researched right now there is uh, many demonstration of having successful attempts to do projection on hand that's real there's some patents out there now uh, talking about uh, handheld uh, projection features so in this way any handheld device can have projection and we know that uh, some companies implemented that projection in phones as well and there's more technologies to come but i mean this exact drawing is not realistic just for the sake of demonstration in this case so let's say everything stayed the same but we added a new hardware in this way uh, we're adding uh, well, this is still B1, 
because projection assembly, this is projection assembly as well. So you can still call it B1, but call it back here as well for demonstration. Okay, that's projection assembly. And uh, if these sensors, biometric sensors change, you want to put that. If the dimensions of this uh, back plate or what we call it as steel enclosure, if it changed, we need to call out this product to compare between first and second and so on. If the crown dimensions change, you want to put it in. Again, just to mention this here is still a crown, so you can call it out A1 a crown if needed. But in this case, me, I'm assuming the PCB changed and you added projection assembly and you do the comparison as simple as possible um, in this case. If we need to add more tabs for visualization, you can just right click here, move or copy. Then you say create a copy and uh, put it after visualize one to one or before it, depending on the preference. So in this way, you created a copy of the first one, you can rename it as a visualize one to two, I would say two to one. So the second one of the first tab, just to make more sense. And you come here. Okay, that's two to one taken, he say. Let's use uh, two to one prime. And you can delete those and use the space as you want to add a new assembly and adding new broken parts and details uh, as needed so that you can add as much visualization as needed even you need to add 10 tabs just to demonstrate you can if you dedicate each tab for a certain thing like one for exploit view the other one for pcb assembly the other one for uh, the biometric sensors you can do that no problem so in this way, you already covered the visualization part uh, of the smartwatch. And we will move next to our hierarchy diagram and the change comparison list.